Hi, how you doing? This is George with Funwood Flies. Today we're going to tie a cicada. I've already pre-wrapped my hook. Uh, I went all the way from the eye all the way toward the bend and the shank. I'm going to put a little extra in here just so the glue's got something to grab onto for the pattern. And coming right here to the end, right past the hook. Okay, so I'm going to add super glue right about from a, about a third of it. Okay, super glue is going to keep the pattern from twisting around, of course, and hold it in place. So first thing I want to do is I have a nice yellow strip, kind of like a start off really small, go into a little bit thicker. Take the small end, go in just about that much. Nice loose wraps, so it's staying on top, catching the super glue. Okay, and then what we're going to do is come out from the pattern from the other side, and I'm going to want the bend right about a little bit to the hook right there as the bend in the pattern. And that should take it right about to there, so you might have to trim a little bit off of this. Okay, and we're going to get that to right about to where we started threading it. And we're going to come pinch it down. We come here with a couple wraps. Go right over the super glue. It's going to do a nice job of holding everything in place. Okay, I'm going to take this right to the edge. Now what I'm actually doing is building a little body in the butt to help create the abdomen. And we're going for what's kind of the, a carrot. So I'm going to take this, take it over here, get it out of the way. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to wrap this. Now usually we're wrapping this way. I'm going to wrap it the opposite way. So I can use it to hold it in place. I'm slightly overlapping the layer before me. Give it a nice, even overlap. Okay, I'm going to get to toward the end right there. I put a clamp. You can use a, uh, anything you want. It will clamp and hold it in place. Now I'm going to use the thread going in the opposite direction and follow the ridge line that I just, the ridge of the foam I just wrapped. And we want to, you know, stay right with it, keep it nice and neat. We only do one wrap, maybe two as we get toward, if the, if you can't really see it, but this does a fairly decent job. Okay, and the last wrap, right here, we're going to tie it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of hold this up here on an angle, do a couple wraps. Unsecure it. Okay, so you see what I'm doing right here? So I'm pulling this guy back, making sure not to cut the thread. Okay. He's off right there, so get this nice and flat. So when we look at it from the bottom, got a nice even, trying to follow, kind of like follow a honeycomb pattern right there. Okay, so next thing we want to do is work on the body some more. So all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to get some dubbing. Get a little wet, always twisting in one direction. Get it to where it grabs, slide it up, pull this back, give it a couple wraps, take it down, and do the same thing again. Oh. 
We're not going all the way to the eye. We're going to stay back a good, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to stay off the eye because you'll see in a little while, we want to keep this back a little bit. This is the body. The head's going to be separate. Perfect. So we got a nice full amount here. So what we'll do is pull that back. Keep that clean in there. So now I take a little bit of super glue. I'm going to dab it right before the, right at the end of the dubbing. Kind of catch the head right there. Where I'm going to put the head in. So I'm going to bend this over. I'm going to pinch it, staying by the path behind the eye, and do a nice tight grab. Okay, so what we have here, so now we have the abdomen going, connects to the body, and now we're going to get ready to put the head in. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch the eyes next. So the eyes themselves, I created with, I had them up here a second ago. Here we go. Okay, the eyes, I took uh, bath beads, I broke out the middle bath bead. Uh, so it gives you some space. Uh, cicada's got, you know, the cicada eyes are on both sides of the head with a little bit of distance between them. What I like to do is take a little bit of super glue right on the line you just tied. Put a little super glue in there. Okay, we're gonna drop his eyes in there. Only because it's important they don't shift or move. And just right over top of the string. Two wraps on each side. Just hold it in place. And that should do it right there. Hold them down nice and tight. Okay, because when we pull his head back, his eyes are going to be sitting right there. We got to adjust these a little bit. Nice, easy wraps. Okay, now while that's drying right there, what we want to do next is we want to take a pin, a uh, sewing needle, something to poke a hole. Uh, people put antennas on a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, what I'm using for antenna are these, uh, these plastic pieces I found. They work pretty good. So what I want to do is I want to poke the holes where they're going to be and pull it back. A lot of people will thread a piece of rubber like I use for the legs and they'll pull it through and out the other hole. That's fine. You know, it's whatever, whatever gets creative for you. Right here's one of them. Gonna pull this back, make it sure, okay. So my antennas, I'm gonna feed it through the hole. There's one. Okay, and go through. Okay, there's two. Push right down here to the end. Don't pull them all the way through. Take a little bit of super glue. I even put a little extra because I'm about to hook, tie the head on anyway, so it's gonna kind of hold it in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back so the eyes are on both sides. You just give them a nice big head and tighten these in. Okay, so there's his antenna. I want to make sure I'm even. So I've got a little bit of space on there, a little bit of space on there. Looks pretty good from under here. Okay, so we stay nice and even with it. Now before the glue dries, pick this up, 
and dropped it about half, about a, a third of the way back on his body. Okay, so we, so what we're gonna do is give this an additional wrap, and now we're gonna get ready to tie the legs in. And in my pattern, that's right about where the angle is. And I'm gonna come back, pull one back. Legs are simple, I'm just using a rubber legging. You can order this online, you get it one big piece, just pull off the size you need. Uh, he's only got uh, two legs on each side. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces. Now I wanna catch it like right underneath. I'll show you this in a second. Like right there. Now and that's right here, right underneath the, the shell. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around, pull this back. Under here. Same thing here, I wanna catch them right underneath the shell. Do two wraps, and that should do it right there. Okay, I'm not doing a ton of wraps right now. I'm not crisscrossing, I'm gonna try and keep it nice and neat. I wanna make sure we're staying where I want to on the bug. So I'm gonna take this off a little bit. Trim this back a little. Okay, I like this. Now, add the, the wing. Uh, we're almost there. So for the wing, take a piece of Swiss shard or Swiss straw. Make it short. All right, so I got a piece of Swiss straw. I'm gonna fan it out like you used to make those folds and then you fan it. So I'm gonna fan it out a little bit. I'm gonna fold it in half. Fan it back together. I'm going to, again, a little more glue. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, it's just going to hold this wing down. So I'm going to catch them once. Same line I've been using for the thread. Okay, and that's it right there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple half inches in here. The body, just two. You want to work your thread back to the eye and use a half inch or use a, a whip tool, that's fine too. I don't mind doing it this way though. It's, you know, you catch the thread maybe off a little. So then what I want to do is take a little head cement. It's right there, it's gonna hold that thread. Plus, while I have the head cement out, I wanna make sure I like his legs right there. Just his legs, and I'm gonna trim this. What I'm doing now is just careful with the super glue on the silicone legs. The super glue will discolor it and make it really weak. Okay, so really simple now. Uh, take his legs. I about blade width, about blade length right there. Uh, take his antenna, which should be dry. Snap them. And we're gonna do the same thing with his back legs. And that's it. Okay, now if you notice I'm not doing any kind of uh, coloring or decorating, I kind of like him just the way he is. Beautiful silhouette like a cicada. Larger head, eyes on the side, nice abdomen going down. So he makes a nice silhouette in the water. Uh, make sure his legs are in there good. Nice full fat body, but he's still staying very light. It's easy to cast. Uh, it's also easy to make them heavier if you want to fish them bass and redwood pole. That's fine, it works good. And especially with, if you're on the East Coast where cicadas are going to be out this year, it's going to be a good pattern to learn. He's also a big bee, 
Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can use for them. So let's we'll take them off of there. Again, my name is George. Uh, thanks for viewing the video. Uh, if you're looking at it from that screen, he's right there. That's him from the front. He's got a nice there. There's his uh, silhouette from there and from the sides. Again, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is, my name is George of Flies. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.